<laughs> Will. Yeah, yeah, that's Bob. Yes. I'm dyslexic, so I, I can say Bob. <laughs> I'm. My name's Palindrome. Thank, very nice to meet you. <laughs> Palindrome. 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 That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you played Sugarfoot for four years? Yeah. Four years. And um, <laughs> I'm not supposed to say um. Er. In that time, you should have gotten to know the character pretty good. Um, and it's been, what, about 47 years ago? Something I, I like always that? say uh, 50 years and 50 pounds ago. 50 years and 50 <laughs> pounds ago. Well, where, seriously, where do you think Sugarfoot would be today? What do you think he would be doing? If they were, if they cast like a, a, you know, if there was a Sugarfoot, just like a special movie of the week, where would Sugarfoot be? Well, you know what, it, yeah, it's interesting you ask that because a few years ago, a lawyer, a lawyer in New York called me up, he got in touch with me, and he had an idea of reuniting uh, Cheyenne, Bronco, and Sugarfoot into a, a later day era where, where um, Teddy Roosevelt was president, and the show would be take, take place in New York, in the city, on the docks or something. And I had a great title for it. Uh, Cheyenne and Bronco and Sugarfoot get hip replacements. <laughs> but that, it never panned out. In fact, it, 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 the regime completely changed by then at Warner's, and he contacted Warner's with the idea, and they didn't know what the hay he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> How soon they forget? Sugarfoot who? <laughs> well, the folks watching this know exactly who we're talking about. I'm sitting here with uh, Will Sugarfoot Hutchins, and you're watching Channel 31.4, your home for classic television western weekends in Dallas-Fort Worth.